Good morning, folks. Nice calm start to the new year so far. No major earthquakes yet, no major space weather, but there are reasons to watch them both and the terrestrial meteorology. So let's begin over at spaceweathernews.com, and we're finding the last 24 hours on our star were pretty calm. The southern coronal hole is facing Earth today, and just ahead of it on the north, a small filament appears ready to lift up and away. Should be somewhat of a western trajectory and small, however, so not much concern. There were no solar flares once again, as there are no sunspots. Plasma at the limb is trying to put on a good show to make up for the lack of fireworks. Thanks, little man. We appreciate it. Coming to the solar wind, note the dropout in purple. That's the plasma speed as the trailing end of the northern coronal hole system ends its time at Earth, and we're back down into calming territory now. That's good because we're only another day or two before the solar wind from this opening arrives. For those who heard our podcast this weekend, indeed, since there were no geomagnetic storms, the elevated earthquake magnitude warning expected to end last night does get extended another day. Earth spots at Japan and the U.S. with the Southern Hemisphere vying for the title of blot or not. You know where to find the alert maps, right? One moment there as we come to Bolivia. This was a dam unable to handle the near-record rainfall that fell over such a short time. Many evacuated, many homes destroyed, and now it's a downstream tracking concern as that system is finally leaving South America. Eyes open South Africa in case flash floods come from your convergence today. In the United States, while a major cold wave is descending through the area, we do have one day of major summer-like risk coming. Could see thunderstorms in the southeast and even hail high winds, maybe a tornado in the southern convergence area. In Europe, the Earth spot will actually pull away from España y Portugal today. Another will run down Italy and intensify towards Greece. Down under, it's still the monsoon-like storms watched in the north, but we also have a tight low racing at New Zealand overnight will be there by tomorrow. Lastly, folks, the Japan Earth spot I mentioned is visible, but the bigger story is the twin systems west of Indonesia, and they're strengthening. Folks, there are a ton of free resources we have for you, even on suspiciousobservers.org where the members' content is found. By the way, the Deeper Look episodes and Fly on the Wall podcast now have comment sections on the pages, which I know has been a long time coming. If you want to get involved, you can become a member there or download the app, which contains the alert map showing high earthquake risk zones. Our book is available at the links on our website or from Barnes & Noble or Amazon. And of course, the granddaddy of them all, Observing the Frontier 2017. The third Observer's event is set to be the biggest yet, with an incredible lineup of speakers and topics. Hope to see you there. We've got shots of our star to close here. It's 4.55 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.